Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Bukun Laosho, and this channel is all about me dishing out fashion styling tips and tweaks. I've had opportunities to speak with quite a number of teenage girls, and more often than not, they say things like, I wish I could have a bit more flesh. And really, upon further discussion, I realized that what they actually do mean is they want wider hips and fuller busts for some of them. But like I always say, not one body shape is superior to the others. Know that you are beautifully and wonderfully made and God made you in the physical image he would love to have you be. So know this, embrace it and appreciate it. If you are not new here, I do hope that you have been able to identify what your body shape is based on the video I put up previously. If you are yet to watch that video, I'll put the link in the description box down below, so make sure to check it out. Today, our major focus will be on the pear body shape and the rectangular body shape. I'll be giving out tips and tweaks on what I think are ideal ways to dress up these two body shapes respectively. Major characteristics of a pear body shape are narrow shoulders, small to medium sized busts, small or defined waist compared to your hips. Generally in styling, you need to know what your goal is. For the pear body shape, you need to know if you want to accentuate your curves or you want to balance out your proportions. Accentuating your curves basically just requires wearing form-fitting clothing, but today our major focus will be on balancing out your proportions because I think that's where quite a number of people have a bit of a struggle. Now let's talk about tops for the pure body shape. Because you have a fuller hips and then you do not want, you probably do not want so much attention drawn to your hips, so you want to shift all of that attention or, you know, balance things out visually. You can opt for tops with bright colors, you can opt for tops with patterns, you can opt for tops with horizontal stripes as opposed to vertical stripes because what horizontal stripes does is it brings attention to the width of your body as opposed to vertical stripes that brings attention to the length of your body thereby giving off this slimming effect and in most cases making you look taller than you really are. You can also opt for tops with frills, bows, ruffles or tops with circular sleeves, petal sleeves, tulip sleeves and alternatively you can go for multi-layered necklaces, just anything that brings the attention visually up here as opposed to down below <laughs> okay so if you do not want so much drama happening up here you can also play with the cut on your necklines you can have tops that have square cut necklines or boat necklines or off the shoulder necklines because what this does is it broadens the shoulder remember that as a pair body shape you have narrow shoulders so what we are looking at achieving is you know, creating that balance between your shoulder, waist, and your hip. So if you're looking at getting pieces that would flatter your curves and not necessarily bring attention or add volume to your hip, then your best bet will be wide leg pants, boot cut pants, culottes, palazzo pants, because what this does is it, you know, gives volume to your ankle and your knee, thereby creating that balance to look also, high-waisted pants with straight cuts are very ideal for your body shape because it gives definition to your waist and, you know, takes away the attention from your hips. Tapered pants are not your best friend because it fits at your ankle and your knee, thereby bringing all the attention to your hips, which is not something we want. On the other hand, if what you're looking at getting is bringing all the attention to your hips, then you should be doing the exact opposite of all that I've been saying. So I hear people screaming, No! I still love my skinnies! Guys, there is a way out. 
if you do love your skinnies and you are a pure body shape all you just need to do is opt for dark colored skinnies and then pair it with bright colored tops that will still look great okay so for dresses tulip dresses feet and flare dresses a-line dresses wrap dresses are great for pure body shape because it gives your waist a very defined look and it's not too tight even around your hip section and then it adds volume to the lower part of the dress so guys a no-no for pure body shape in dresses will be boxy dresses what i mean by boxy dresses is this in no way flatters your body shape because it is boxy like the name of so let's move right into the rectangular body shape one major characteristic of this body shape is that all of the measurements are in equal proportions or very close one way to create an illusion of a curve is belts guys let's say for instance you're putting on a boxy dress or a shift dress when you throw on a belt what it does is it gives an illusion of a curve and gives you a cinched or a defined waist for tops just like the pure body shape you like to opt for tops with a lot of detailing like ruffles bows frills circular sleeves petal sleeves tulip sleeves also you could wear peplum top because what this does is it gives a defined waist and then add volume to your hips making an illusion of a curve right there for your bottoms you do well to have a straight cut pants something i waisted you could have trousers that have pleats on the waistline because what the pleats does is it adds volume to your hips and then because it's high waisted it gives you a defined waist for your dresses just like the pear body shape as well um tulip dresses are good for you wrap dresses a-line dresses um feet and flare dresses they are ideal for your body shape also, it's important to note that the texture of your fabric matters a lot because the thicker the fabric, the more volume it adds to your clothing. Additionally, you can pair your eye waisted pants with tops that have V neckline, sweetheart neckline. These are ideal for the rectangular body shape. So guys, I hope you've been able to learn a thing or two when it comes to styling um, appropriately for your body shape. And also for other body shapes, I hope you've been able to pick a thing or two as it relates to your body shape. If you would like to get more tips on other body shapes, please let me know right down in the comment section. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell also if you haven't, so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Till next time, guys. Bye.